WWE is hoping the second time is the charm in their attempt to hold WrestleMania in Tampa, Florida, as they are planning to host their biggest show of the calendar year there in 2021. WWE had Raymond James Stadium scheduled for this year's mega show, but it was canceled due to the pandemic and ran over two nights at the Performance Center in Orlando instead. The date of the 2021 show is unknown. News first reported by Inside the Ropes, confirmed by Dave Meltzer. WWE did release a brief statement to several media outlets, including ours. Quote, we have nothing to report, and given the current environment, we continue to monitor the locations for all of our potential events. It would appear likely WWE will sell tickets to WrestleMania, but just how many is unknown. In late August, Ron DeSantis paved the way for fans to return, both the Miami Dolphins and and University of Miami allow up to 13,000 fans at their respective games. AW has been running at 15% capacity in Jacksonville for several weeks. This would mean LA's SoFi Stadium out for next year. But given the situation with the pandemic in California, hosting an event with fans seemed unlikely even with roughly five months of preparation time. So, obviously... I mean, March, April 2021 is a long way away. We have no idea where we're going to be in March or April of 2021. Running a show at one-fifth capacity with plenty of room in between pods of people, outdoors at a gigantic stadium. I mean, I know some people will think that the whole idea is terrible, but I mean, many people are doing that, many different sports. AEW is doing it in a different way when they have fans at uh, Daly's Place. I don't like the idea of indoors, but outdoors with everybody properly spaced, mask requirements. I honestly would not be surprised if that actually happened in the spring of 2021. But until it's official, I guess we will see. I just hope that everybody does this in the safest manner that they can do it if they are, in fact, going to do it. Well, just as an example, you know, SEC football has started back up again, and that got a lot of attention last weekend. It will get a lot of attention this weekend. The University of Florida at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, 50% or uh, 20% capacity ends up equaling about 17,000 people. Uh, Raymond James, uh, if you look at it as, what, 74-5 for football, you could shove more people in there for wrestling, but let's just go off of that number, which was their record for the College Football National Championship game. That would be about 14,900 people for WWE, all paying money for a ticket, all paying uh, money per head uh, that they'll end up making up in merchandise and all that sort of stuff. Again, to what to what point? Who knows? Since there won't be things like autograph signings and things like that. But I'm not surprised by this whatsoever. What will be interesting is how are masks and how are all that stuff taken care of inside the building? Because that's the one thing that very much shines uh, when it comes to these college games and when it comes to NFL sidelines is there are lots of people who are not wearing masks where it is a very half-assed approach. So uh, we'll see. You know, wrestling is going to have a, a big test coming up with the collective here in about a week in Indianapolis. There are 12 shows, four shows a night. People are coming from all over. We know uh, what some of the effects possibly of warrior wrestling in Chicago and people that have gone to other places. It has caused a little bit of havoc. People already getting together has caused havoc this past week for both NXT, WWE, and uh, AEW. So we'll just have to see how this is going forward. But uh, it's one of those things that I think if people are dying to get out, nothing is going to stop them. And if you are worried about your situation or you're worried about how things are going with COVID, then you're probably not going to go anywhere. You're just, you're literally picking a side. Well, I want to say this too, that when AEW announced that they were going to open up the Daily's Place for a small number of fans, it was five to 700 fans. I mean, at the time, there was a lot of outrage from a lot of people and people were angry at me that I was not outraged about it. I, I, I said that I wouldn't have done it because I wasn't comfortable if I were Tony Khan doing it at the time. But I said, if you're going to do it, then this is the safest way to do it. You, you go outdoors, everybody is separated away from everybody else, and they all wear masks. And despite whatever outrage there was, 
I mean, the reality is it has been a couple of months now, and there has been zero issue with fans attending these shows. Because, quite frankly, in an outdoor setting, everybody stays away from each other, and everybody is required to wear masks. I mean, that is the safest way to do it. So if WWE is committed to making sure that there is strong distance between pods of people, and a pod of people would mean, like, you know, me and my family could go, and we would be in a pod. We all hang out with each other anyway, so... You know, we would be together. We would be masked. I mean, at Daly's Place, they actually take zip ties to cordon off areas. So it's not like you get, you know, you get a seat number. Like, you're going to be, Mike's going to be in seat 15. Brian's going to be in seat 30. And then we just decide, ah, oh, what the hell, I'm going to go sit by Mike. You actually can't do that because of the zip ties that are that are keeping people away from each other. So they've done that, and they've been doing it for a while, and there have been no issues. So what WWE is going to do, I have absolutely no idea. But we do know that so far, keeping people away from each other, doing it outdoors, and requiring masks, there has not been an issue with AEW doing this yet.